So I'm just um, writing on the uh, on the wall, um, but what I'm doing is using the actions of writing. So the conditioned reflex from my brain through my arm to the hand that I've learnt since school, but trying to avoid actually forming the words that I'm thinking. So it's to, I approach writing as art, I see myself as a writer, and I approach art as a form of writing. There's a sense of balance in nature, in architecture, uh, in physical appearance, and that balance and relationship of the things that you're looking at is what leads us to have this emotional response to appreciate something as beautiful or exciting or ugly. Uh, but it's this relationship of things that balance and work together. And writing tries to do that abstractly by describing things. So uh, this is kind of language that's quiet and visual. I started by responding directly to the house, to the shapes, to the walls, to the marks. And the things that caught my attention first were these little tiny black spots, these dots. And they were put there by the surveyors uh, that came to measure the house. And th this is where they point their lasers. So these are measurement points to do with the size and the relationships and the proportions of the house. And also spots where screws have been removed, where things have been removed. So part of that history. And, um, it just, it just grew from that, so I began writing using the full stop, the black dot, which is normally the end of the writing, is the beginning, and kind of writing backwards from that idea. Working with writing, most people tend to think linear, line by line, and one of the things of writing line by line is that it's one thought follows another, follows another, and it's difficult to go back and change your mind, so coming at it from different angles or in a circular motion is more free and imaginative, really. 